Hello, welcome to another unboxing video. Um, not so much unboxing as uh, on the plastic bagging. I recently got, uh, in fact today, uh, this uh, or a box of figures arrived from Black Tree Designs. A couple of weeks ago I ordered um, some figures from their World War II 28mm uh, section. Uh, they had uh, one of their sales on, so uh, most of the uh, packs, which usually come in three or four figures, uh, were £3.50. So I ordered uh, several sets, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine altogether. Um, the first one is uh, some snipers, so these are uh, American paratroopers. Uh, you get two snipers in the set, this one costs £2.14. Uh, a standing and a prone sniper. So these ones have uh, the camo wrapping around the rifles. Um, a little bit of flash. So there we have our uh, standing sniper. Uh, one thing I noticed straight away was you don't get uh, um, much equip in the way of equipment and uh, bags and, and bits and pieces to add on so I guess you can use your spares from your plastic sets for those um, looks like they well this the, the prone guys just got a, a water bottle and nothing else and the uh, the standing guy hasn't got anything so uh, the usual bits and pieces that you get on these figures to clean up, a little bit of uh, um, extra sticky out bits. So that's, that's the first set. Uh, the second set was our GI radio team. This was £3.5, three figures. So we've got a standing GI with a walkie-talkie, um, a little handset of some description. Uh, he's, whoops, got a weapon, got a small base, I'm going to need to file that down, snip off the little extras. Now this, so they, he's got the walkie-talkie, this guy's got a handset, um, so I guess he's going to stand with the guy with the radio. So there's a two-man team, and the uh, guy with the walkie-talkie. So this one's uh, no helmet, no headgear at all, with his uh, carbine, a couple of grenades on his belt, and a little bit of extra flash, which you expect. <coughs> and finally uh, a guy with a radio, so I guess you can stick a some kind of uh, brass aerial on the top of that, maybe. A bit of plastic. So that's the three GI radio team. So next we've got um, a British Vickers machine gun team. Now this was £3.50, so three figures plus the gun. So the gun comes in two parts, you've got the stand, uh, the legs look a little bit flimsy. You have to be careful with those. And then you've got the gun itself, which will go uh, on there somehow. A bit of super glue. And once that's cleaned up with flash that it should look okay. 
So that's the gun. And you've got three crew. Two kneeling and one standing. So we've got the uh, commander with his binoculars. Is that binoculars? Yeah, that's binoculars. And some ammo around his neck. We've got the firer and the loader. So these will go with my British infantry. I've just got my, uh, some sprues of British infantry. <coughs> Excuse me. And they were the only British um, black tree design figures I bought. Uh, then we've got some US communications infantry. Uh, three pound five for three figures. We've got three guys. Uh, two kneeling and one standing. So I'm going to use these as uh, forward observers. This guy with his uh, iPad out and his radio. On the walkie talkie. Now he's got an entrenching tool, which is, uh, I think, the only one that's got any extras so far. Then we've got the, uh, the standing guy with uh, his binoculars. So that's my US communications guys. Now get on to the, uh, the Germans. And the next five sets were all Fallschirmjäger. So the first one is uh, an MG34 and team. Uh, £3.50. Two figures and the gun. So there's the gun. That's a fairly, fairly sub substantial model. Uh, so substantial that there's um, the supports in the middle are completely solid. So I'll have to look uh, look at uh, some photographs and find out um, what I need to do with that. Whether um, that needs to be chiselled out in the middle there or not. So that's the gun, and then the two crew got the loader. He's got his gas mask and his water bottle. Um, unfortunately, the gas mask on a couple of these figures seems to be slap bang in the middle of the back, which doesn't leave a lot of room if you want to put on uh, some bread bags or entrenching tools or uh, pouches or anything. Uh, this other guy has just got a little pouch, so he's got plenty of room if you want to stick on some equipment. Um, so here's the uh, the trigger guy uh, with his crewmate. Then we've got uh, communications team. Uh, this one comes in with four figures. Uh, this was three pound fifty. So we've got. Uh, all of them have their their radios. So we've got the first guy. Again, no uh, no equipment other than the radio. That second guy kneeling. Uh, third guy standing. And fourth guy standing, this guy uh, without uh, any headgear and the uh, headphones on. So 
So that's my calcium Omega communications team. Then we've got a mortar team. So three guys in the mortar. There's uh, a mortar stand. The mortar itself. And then our crew. All standing. The, uh, the creases and folds in the uniforms don't seem to be as deep as perhaps some of the plastic figures from Warlord um, that I'm used to. Um, quite shallow creases in the, you know, in the trousers. We'll have to see how they compare once they're painted up. And the guy with the mortar shell. So that's our crew. I'm just painting my Falsham Jaeger at the moment. I think I've got about 40 of them. I'm nearly complete with those, so these uh, will finish off my uh, Falsham Jaeger units. Uh, next set was uh, a set of snipers. Uh, four in the set, £3.50. Again, no equipment other than the uh, scoped rifle. And the fourth one kneeling with the binoculars. So if you wanted a two man team then uh, he would do the do the job. And then lastly we've got our uh, Panzer Shrek. Four figures, three pound fifty and we've got two Panzer Shreks and two loaders. So our first guy's kneeling. Very chunky Panzer Shrek, so there is some detail on the front. So we've got a water bottle and a gas mask. Our next one standing. Again the gas mask canister and the water bottle with no room really to add anything else. And then two loaders, both standing. Slightly different uh, figures. So that's it. My first order from Black Tree Designs. And uh, my first metal troops that I'm going to be looking at or or painting up. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll see how they go and how they match in with the uh, the plastic warlord infantry. Thanks for watching.